everyone good evening good um, day depending on where you're listening in from well welcome to the first teaching slot for today's 10-hour prayer marathon my name is Irumina and um, our topic today is the power of agreement when I saw this topic and I saw that I was to teach it I was like ah, father lord you have to anoint me it's a very very deep topic so um just want to say a very quick word of prayer before going. Father, we thank you for another wonderful day. Holy Spirit, we crave your presence on the altar today. Thank you, Lord, for all the prayer leaders and supervisors that have held forth already this morning since 7 a.m. We ask, O oh Lord, that you come down greatly, that the word I shall speak today shall not be my words, but it shall be the words that oh heaven has ordained for someone out there to hear today this we ask in jesus mighty name we pray amen amen the power of agreement the power of agreement is is a very 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 vast topic i'm going to just try to define the two words that are in this topic power an agreement. The Oxford uh, Dictionary meaning of power as a noun is the ability or capacity to do something or act in a particular way. The ability or capacity to do something or act in a particular way. Another definition says is the ability to wield force, authority, or influence. Legal or official i will add spiritual authority or influence over others the ability to wield force authority or influence is also the legal or official marine spiritual authority or influence you have over others that's power as a verb power is the supply of mechanical and electrical I'm adding spiritual. I've, I've added spiritual for the noun. I'm adding spiritual for the verb. Supply of electrical or mechanical energy. That's power. To power a generator is uh, to supply it with power means uh, to supply it with mechanical or electrical energy. For us as Christians, our power is spiritual. So when we are supplied with spiritual energy, we are empowered. So agreement, on the other hand, is a harmony or accordance in opinion or feeling or a negotiated and typically legally, I'm going to also add spiritually here, binding agreement, a negotiated and typically legally or spiritually binding agreement between parties as to a course of action. So you cannot be in agreement with yourself. It has to be with others. There has to be other parties involved when an agreement has to be um, 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 valid. It's an arrangement that is accepted by all parties to a transaction. The act of approving or accepting something. These are the different definitions of power and agreement. It takes two or more parties to be involved in an agreement to commence. For an agreement to commence, it has to take two or more people. The Bible says it in Amos chapter 3, verse 3. It says, do two work together unless they have agreed to do so. If, for example, myself and Sister Mercy, we um, meet at a junction, and I'm like, where are you going to? Oh, I'm going this way, and I'm going her direction. We have to agree. Oh, I can. You can drop me along the way now. It's still around. It's still. It's still on my route. If we don't agree, she cannot. She. I cannot give her that right. She cannot come along with me, and there can be no agreement if if that kind of um, opportunity presents itself. So two have to agree before they can work together. So things, there has to be an agreement. There has to be an acceptance. There has to be a harmony of opinion. You would have negotiated it. You would have agreed typically and spiritually before you can do something together. 
during redemption when man gives his life to christ he has entered into a legal agreement with god you have accepted jesus as your personal lord and savior during redemption that means that you have fully agreed to the fact that jesus has died that jesus christ died for your sins and he was buried and he defeated death for your sake and he also rose to glory so that I go there. Please tell me here, please. I go there. 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 Go through faith that's an agreement when you agree to give your life to Christ you have agreed that Jesus has been born you have agreed that Jesus came to die for your sins you have agreed that Jesus rose and he had defeated death he died he has defeated death and he has risen again that's an agreement and as that contract is binding and standing in the in the realm of the spirit the devil is infuriated the devil is infuriated that we as Christians have entered into an agreement with Christ for his protection, for being his children, for being a part of his kingdom. The devil is angry, he does not rest. In 1 Peter chapter 5, verse 8, the Bible says, Be alert and be of sober mind. Your enemy, the devil, prowls around like a roaring lion, seeking for someone to devour. Satan can come through anything. He can come through situations, as in the case of Daniel in the Bible. The king of Babylon came, he raided Israel, you know, carried slaves. Daniel was one of these people. Daniel was carted away to be a slave in a foreign land in Babylon. And even in that adverse situation, Daniel lost his freedom. Daniel lost his house, his job. He had to be separated from his family. He had to learn how to speak a foreign language in Babylon. He had to be raised in the palace to be part of the nobles. Daniel had to live in a place where he did not want to be. In Daniel chapter 1, verse 8, we see the story. It says that Daniel proposed in his heart Another word for purpose is agreed. It's on purpose. It's intentional. It's 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 you it, two parties. It's a binding. Daniel proposed in his heart that he will not define himself with the king's food. The devil can also come through friends and family, as in the case of Job. In Daniel's own, he was he came through a situation. In um, Job's case, he came through family. Job's friends did the most. They did the most. They tried to condemn Job. They tried to convince him that he had offended God, that that's why he was suffering so much. In fact, uh, the most painful one, the most and you can go through is when your spouse despises your situation. Job's wife, Job's wife told him that in Job chapter 2 verse 9, he says, his wife said to him, are you still maintaining your integrity? <laughs> Curse God and die. Are you still maintaining your integrity? Curse God and die. Job must have been devastated that even you, my own lovely wife, even you, Job refused to agree with all of them. Job challenged God in a question and answer session. From Job chapter 2, up until Job chapter 40, where God now finally answered Job. And then 41, 42, God restored Job. My brothers and sisters here in the altar this morning, what is the devil lying to you about? Is he telling you that your stagnation is a family heirloom, that you must bask in stagnation? You must, you must stay stagnated for all your life. Is that what the devil is telling you? Is he telling you that uh, that, that that sickness 
your, your father's illness or your mother's illness or even it might be even you that has been ill or you have been unable to have children or there has been a situation in your life where he's just telling you that ah no this debt this debt can never be repaid you will never come out of debt you will always be a debtor you will always be a debtor in your life what is what is satan saying to you if you have not agreed that's the power of agreement. If you accept it in your heart, you have accepted defeat, and the devil will come down heavily on you. What are you slowly agreeing to? In your heart, in Nigeria, somebody will just say, "Ah, now nah, wow, this country, this country hard to visit my brother, and I'm so with them." No, you have just agreed. It's an agreement. You come. Co- you 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 concord to to that because normally always tells us that even as a joke even as a joke you don't say things that you don't want to see in life daniel he was stolen from his family he was taken without his consent but he decided to keep himself for christ he decided to even when the king uh, 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 came gave a decree it was it was all a, a very tricky plan from satan they did not they saw that his power was in his prayers they saw that his powers were in his prayers and they knew that if they if they can snuff the life out of his praying life they can get daniel but he was in agreement with his god i will never i will never stop praying to my god i will never eat meat that has been offered to idols God even gave him wisdom along with that agreement that he had had in his heart with his spirit, man. If I don't do this, that's a consecration. God honors our consecrations. Yesterday on the uh, um, 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 prayer leader's um, intercessor's uh, uh, message, Mr. Damala said, if you live a fasted life, fasting is an agreement. You have agreed to deny yourself of your bodily pleasures of food and entertainment just to be, you know, separated, just to look out for God. If you have done, if you, he, he, he says fasting is, is a down payment. You make it, you do it in your closet where nobody is looking. You do it, cover it up, and then you come out to shine in the open. People don't know the, the battles you have gone to fight. How you wake up 12 midnight in prayers of agreement, where you get prayer bodies, prayer partners, Say, see, on this case, you are you and I we have to stand together. You are standing with me, and I'm agreeing with you. Whatever situation it is that we find ourselves, we have to be in agreement. We have to be in agreement, and we have to be careful the kind of agreement that we that we establish. Somebody just comes and just throws a careless statement, and wow, this is not a president, a very useless president, not the smart, you know. You have already agreed to the to the to, to, to the lose, lose of, of somebody who, who has not been in the closet, who has not who has not fasted, who is not standing firm, who, who who doesn't know what who hasn't gone into an agreement. An agreement is legally binding, just like the 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 uh, um, uh, dictionary meaning of an agreement. It is legally binding. They will take you to court. In America's court, they say um, ignorance. Okay, it's in all courts. Ignorance is not an excuse. You don't use because no, oh, I, I, I did not know. I did not know. You had to find out because in an agreement, it means that you are consenting. It has been negotiated, typically legally, spiritually. It is binding between parties. So if somebody tells you, ah, this country is hard, though, and you say, my brother, no, 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 so we see him. You have asked. Accepted. You have come into agreement that the country is hard, and the country will never be soft for you. There was a a, a woman in um, a pastor in church used um, as an example. He says um, uh, where his one of his church members had a shop. Another woman had a shop there. The when she, when the, the other woman just wakes up and comes in the morning, just ah. Now, wow, no customer just day to deal. Customer just cast to deal. And the new DJ woman from our church that just opened her shop there, the neighbor will come and tell her, ah, my sister, you don't sell today, so ah, customer just drive. Ah. 
She said, I they sell oh, in Jesus' name, oh, I they sell oh, my customers no drive you. Know. Customers they see me, they, they come to my shop. Positive declarations like that, joking like joke like joke. Customers will come and buy 10 cartons, 20 cartons from my shop. They were selling the same thing. I think it was um, um juices, drinks. She was a drinks vendor. Ah, ah. The other woman that has she said, ah, customer not just they everywhere just dry today, really. And the pastor said, in the eye of the spirit, he could see when he went to pray for the member in her church, he could just see an angel standing across the door of the other woman with his hand across the door to pray. Since she has confessed it amount, it means she has gone into agreement in the spirit that there, there's no customer today. So the angel was acting on her words. When we go into agreement, it is spiritually binding. That's that's one of the uh, 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 um, points I'm trying to portray, that we should be careful the things we say with our mouth. The angel was standing with his hands across the door to block any customers from coming into that shop because the owner has accepted that, oh, everywhere is dry, no customers. You have agreed. Let's be careful what we utter from our mouths when we, especially when the chips are down, because that is when Satan really comes at your lowest. He comes, he snoops. He, he wants to hear you when you are at your down, when, when you are at your wit's end, when you are sick to your bones, when, when you are down with an ailment. He wants to hear you curse God and die. Job's wife told him, why are you still holding on to your integrity? I think, what are you using good man, good man to do? Oh, good man, help. I very curse God and die. That's what Satan, Satan wants you to say things that are contrary to what you, you, he wants you to agree. There was a video I watched, I think it was the windows, the windows on Instagram. I can't remember which, which, um, it was a, a ministry anyway that, um, released the video. The woman was on her bed and, um, she, uh, she was, the Holy Spirit was sitting beside her and then unwanted visitors just entered her, her house. One had cancer as his name. Then the other one was fear and doubt. And she was like, ah, ah, who are you? Where did you come from? They said, shut up there. You know, they're trying to oppress her. Sit down. We have come today and we have come to take you. We're taking you along with us. And the woman was like, ah, Holy Spirit, what are you? Are you looking at these people? You're not even saying anything about it. And the man, the Holy Spirit was like, ah, calm down. Don't worry. You see these two, fear and doubt. Just give them biscuits. Give them biscuits. Let them go outside. Give them biscuits and send them outside. She was like, biscuit? I should entertain fear and doubt. So that's why I say give them biscuits. Just give them biscuits. Let them go outside. Yeah? It's cancer that is the main person that came, you know. Give these ones biscuits. So she looked at the Holy Spirit and said, are you really telling me to entertain this? Anyway, she stood up. She went, got for a biscuit and gave to fear and doubt. Fear and doubt. Um, she sent them out, locked the door. Because now she and Asakasa was like, hey, yes, fear that we're angry like that. Ah, how would they send us out? So you want to give a chicken and a uh, uh, wee biscuit? Is it biscuit you are giving us? Holy Spirit was just, you know, giving her the nod. Just, just, just send them away. So she sent fear and doubt outside and just she encounter. Like, Holy Spirit, so what now? They say, entertain him with dancing. Ah, she started a praise dance. She danced, 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 danced. She and Kansa danced. They will jump up, will jump down, jump up, jump down, dance, 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 dance. Holy Spirit said, entertain him with the word. She started making declarations. She started making declarations. My body is the temple of the Holy Spirit. You know, she was getting into agreement with the Spirit for what the word says about her life. After the word, the Holy Spirit said, and, uh, engage him with uh, a, a prayer, a, war, a prayer of warfare. She, she, she blasted into tongues. This woman prayed and prayed and prayed. <laughs> Cancer was exhausted. Cancer could not stand up again. Ah, she will drag him. They will enter into another praise battle. She will dance, shake him, carry his leg, drag him up until Cancer died. Died out of exhaustion. She exhausted him with praise, with the word, and with speaking in tongues. And cancer fell down dead. And that's how over, it was through the night. And then in the morning, she carried the dead body of cancer and went to dump outside the door. 
locked it out, lock out fear and doubt with the dead body of cancer. And fear and doubt were so afraid, like, hey, hey, hey how can this happen? Oh, our wow, wow, God, hey, 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 they carry their dead body and they pack their load and go. So the moral of the story that I learned when I watched that video was that when 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 situations come like that, you don't accept defeat. You don't agree to anything that is contrary to what the Lord has said about you. It is what you agree to that happens for you. What are you slowly agreeing to, brothers and sisters? Have you have you have you started training yourself in the little things? Train yourself in what you watch on TV, on internet, what influences your decisions, your utterances. Train yourself in what comes out of your mouth. Are you one of those that say, ah, my brother, and I saw we see the country, this country don't finish, not in the Nigeria again. It, 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 that is how, yesterday I had an epiphany. My children came back from school and ah, I was, I just baked a cake. Somebody ordered for an urgent cake. And I put the cake by the fan to, to cool. And they just played, 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 and went to where the cake was and threw the tray of the cake on the floor. And one of the cakes got at that point. I shouted. I said, what kind of children are these? Immediately, the Holy Spirit reminded me, really? Hey! Immediately, in less than 10 seconds, I changed my utterance. I said, Father, thank you for my wonderful children. Thank you, Lord, that these ones are taught of you. Thank you, Lord, that I have children that I can call my own. Ah, Father, I, I thank you because you will help me to raise these children to be arrows in my hand. There will be arrows in my quiver. Lord, my I just started declaring positivity over my children. I was angry. I was disappointed. They were looking at me. I said, no, who spank you? What you did is bad, but I, I, I choose... To, 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 to joy over you rather than to be sorrowful. That's what the devil wants. He wants to put you in a situation where you will say things that are contrary and he will hold you by your words. It's an agreement. You have legally said it. The moment it comes out of your mouth, you have agreed to that situation. So I just, I just immediately I was saying the peace was just coming to my heart. I'm like, ah, oh God, thank you for my children. Thank you, Lord, because I will grow up. They will grow up and they will make me proud. I will enjoy them till I'm old and weary. They will carry me when I'm old. I was just making declarations. And I was proud because that was what I wanted to see in them. The devil wanted me to curse. Where, where are you people from? What kind of thing is this? Is something wrong with you? That's, that's the devil just be swelling that your anger so that you'll be making words in agreement and he will hold you the bible calls him the accuser of the brethren he will hold you to your agreement what is it that that you you have to train yourself on is it what you eat do you eat anything anyhow anywhere you go you just start eating the devil can use that thing against you train yourself to say no sometimes what are you agreeing to from now on what are you agreeing to you're going to tell yourself today that today I refuse what I don't want to see. My what is that situation that the woman with the issue of blood? The Bible did not mention her name. She was not called a name. She was called with her situation. What is that thing people have known you for? You're going to make an agreement to your heart that Father, I choose to stand with you. Your word says in this, in every situation in life, there is a Bible passage for it. Why not search the scriptures and stand in agreement with the word of God? When you honor God in the small things that you stay away from, those little consecrations, the, the Pastor Damala calls them um, um, uh, down payment. When you make down payment in the spirit for, for the, you don't, you, when you wake up to pray in tongues at night, sometimes you don't have a prayer point. The Spirit just tells you, just pray in tongues or just do a praise, praise offering. Do a praise offering. I remember. I remember the day we had our praise, our praise um, 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 uh, night on the altar, on the tribe of Marketplace Ministry. It was, I know how my life has changed since then. It was not, it, 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 I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, things are no longer ordinary to me. I take them personally now. I don't agree to anything. It, the first time my son started his new school, the teacher said, he, he's slow in writing. I said, no, no. I don't agree to that. Please change that word. My son is going to catch up, right? And at the end of that time, he came out first because I refuse to agree to the negative report. What are you agreeing to today? What are your consecrations? 
oh god shows up when you all know god in the small things like your consecration you're staying away from food you're staying away from social media you're staying away from friends that take you to loud parties where spirits that are roaming they don't have addresses they're just looking for bodies to possess what are those things you are consecrating yourself from oh god will show up in ways that you never thought was possible God will show up in ways that you never thought was possible because you have decided to agree in your heart, just like Daniel. Daniel proposed in his heart that he will not eat the meat that has been offered to idols. He will not eat the king's meat that has been offered to idols. He ate vegetables and guess what? When the results were shown, Daniel came better than the ones that had been eating meat. Brothers and sisters, today we are going to pray. We are going to ask God that whatever it is that I have been agreeing to unknowingly, not knowing that the devil is using that one as a, as a ticket to plague my life. Oh, uh, uh, in this your family, nobody travels abroad. Nobody, that, no, no, nobody has this. Uh, just remove your mind from that thing. And you will just accept that defeat like that. There was another video from the windows I watched. She said, the, the, the man wears garments of shame. He'll go for interviews. All they see is a, a masquerade face. You know, the, 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 the lady was like, ah, you are qualified. You have a first class. Of, of all the candidates, you are the best, but I don't like your face. I don't like the dress you are wearing. So he was like, ah, man, but I'm dressed properly. I'm like, no, no. That was the garment of stagnation that was covering him until he went into battle to agree with God that enough is enough. Lord, I don't want this situation. I don't want this thing anymore. I don't want it. What are you agreeing to today? What are you telling God? God, look at me. Five, six, seven, eight, nine years. Look at who I married with the same year. They have three children. Father, I refuse to be called by her. Anna went on to that altar. She prayed in tongues until the priest thought that she was drunk. What are you agreeing to? Say, Father, if you give me this son, I'm going to return him back to you. I'm going to return him back to you. She did not want to live without her. Uh, 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 she did not want to live without her, her evidence. Then she got her blessings because she challenged God to an agreement. An agreement is two parties. You do your part, God does his part. Today, we are going to unmute and pray. We are going to unmute and begin to tell God what you want to agree to happen in your life. There is power in your confessions. You are going to begin to confess and declare all the positive things that you want God to do in your life. Today, let us unmute and begin to make declarations. Say, Father, is, whatever it is, call the name. Is it in your job? Is it in your family? Is it in your business? Is it in your wherever you want that change? Begin to make agreement declarations now in the name of Jesus. Lord in heaven, I'm calling upon your holy name this day. Father, on behalf of my brothers and sisters on the altar, Father Lord, let us pray. Let us pray. Let us ask God that whatever we have agreed to, that contrary to his will for us, Today we nullify it and we enter into agreement, a new and fresh agreement, intentionally. That Lord, if you do this for me, I will do this for you. La kache keke se kete kese dere balanta ya kashandele kete se dere balanta lanta shata kada ele kese te kete se dere balanta la la la. Lord, if you show up for me in my job, Lord, if you show up for me in my family, in raising my children, in my family, Lord, as a wife, as a more my spirit, Lord. You will do good things for me, O oh Lord. I know, O oh Lord, you are the one who will help me, O oh Lord, to make me, O oh Lord, that thing that you have ordained me to be, that purpose-driven life, O oh Lord, that you have given to me. Tashaka, tashake, teleke, tese, arin, tereke, tese, dererere, balanka, tashaka, nandi, anandi, yataka, tata, tese, dere, balanda, tereke, tese, 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 balanda, yarada, La kaka santa shate re re ba 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 le re nte ke shende ya re re ba 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 Lele baba baba, lele kete se de baba 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 baba
Thank you, Father. Thank you, and thank you, Holy Spirit, because we have gone into agreement with you today, O oh Lord. Our story is changing for the better in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' victorious and wondrous name, we have prayed. Amen. Amen.